Why should we be putting bucks on the Milwaukee Bucks? <laughs> Love that. We're going to be looking at Damian Lillard over three and a half made threes. He's hit over this mark in four straight games. The last time that he played the Sacramento Kings, he went five for 13 from three. Not to mention he had that game winning three point buzzer beater, which was phenomenal. But he's been on fire from beyond the arc, averaging 11 attempts beyond the arc, I should say again, in the last five games, which is the most in a five game span that he's had all season. I do expect him to be successful against a Kings team that is dead last in opponent three point percentage. So the attempts will be there. I think he gets over three and a half made threes tonight. Before you go, what's a move you like uh, regarding the New York Knicks? So I'm looking at the Knicks team total over 107 and a half. This is a really hard sell and I understand that. So they've hit under their team total in nine of the last 10 games. I understand that including seven straight. But tonight I think that changes and again it's a hard sell here. But OG Ananobi is going to be back on the court which is a huge boost when the Knicks have him on the court. They're averaging 115 points per game. We also know the Philadelphia 76ers that defense has been terrible without Joel Embiid. Tyrese Maxey is expected to play again tonight but I've, I've done crazier things than bet this but we're going to go over for their team total over 107 and a half.